inner attention, that means the mental attitude of the patient, from this what we can know is, <coughs> from this what we can know from this statement, this law is that a shift of the mental attitude of the patient can and also will produce either real freedom from the disease or an intensification of the reactions which produce discomfort, disease or death. That is the essence of this law. <coughs> Because <coughs> in the previous lines we have studied that the astral, the astral force, we have studied about the astral force, this one, this one is 54, 54. So in the astral, into the astral, uh, shift from the mental, because mind, it is, it is the mind, I will explain then, everybody listens then I can explain. <coughs> So the, it is, first we have to remember that mind, mind is the mental plane, that mind is the plane which can either create, way, because the impulses we, will be received from the mind, you see. So if the impulses are given in a, in a particular, in a, in a good direction, then we will be liberated from the suffering and from the conditioning. Liberation from suffering means liberation from conditioning. When we are liberated from the conditioning, then we will not have any suffering, we will have always a harmonious experience. But if the mind, from the mind if you receive negative impulses, then the conditioning will be intensified. That is why it is mind, this, this, this mind, the level of consciousness which we call mind, is that level where you have two possibilities. Either, for, either you can be liberated from the conditioning or you can get into more conditioning which leads you finally into distress and disintegration and death, disease and death, that is what is main, mentioned, that is what is explained here. So mind, so mind is a level of consciousness in us, it is a but lower level of consciousness because mind is the reflecting surface because we have to correlate with the teachings from Patanjali also. Mind has certain behavior. Patanjali has explained, Patanjali has identified and explained five types of behavior of the mind. That is what he has given in his aphorisms. Five types of behavior of the mind. So Patanjali said, Suspension of the behavior of mind, that is the, that is a state called yogic state. If the mind is, as long as the mind is allowed to behave, 
So this, if the behavior of the mind continues, it keeps giving impulses into the astral plane. <laughs> if the mind, so if the behavior of the mind is suspended, then it will be a channel for the impulse coming from the soul. <laughs> then you will be liberated. <laughs> so that is what Patanjali explained in his explanation about yoga. Yoga, in the, in the very second aphorism he said, Yoga ha chitta vritti nirodha. Yoga is suspension of the behavior of the mind. And then he explained that you, you cannot, you should not try to suspend by your effort. That is where many of the students of yoga are failing. Because even the yoga teachers also, so called yoga teachers also, they could not understand this. Therefore, they say, you have to control your mind. How can you control it? So, suspension of the behavior of mind should happen by your, your proper practice in the mundane plane. Once again, how you behave, your work in the physical plane should be in the direction where the suspension of the, act, the behavior of mind will happen. It should happen, not you. You are not concerned to do the suspension. You, you cannot suspend it. Because your effort to suspend is again, once again, made by the same mind. That is the problem. <laughs> that is why we fail. So this is a, there is a, 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 there is a natural law, there is a cosmic law, there is, according to this law, there will be radiation of soul light and the behavior of the mind does not allow this to reach the lower levels, the mundane world. Because the behavior of mind makes a false existence. So as long as the mind is continue to behave in its own manner, then it behaves in such a manner that it receives all the impressions from outside and tries to behave, make our behavior as a reaction to these impressions. Then you will not reach, you will not receive the light from the soul. That is the problem. Yes, the, these five senses are the five channels of mind. <laughs> yes. Because the mind gets into contact with the, with the outer world through the channels of the five senses. So the five senses form the channels for the mind to get contact into the outer world, with the outer world and receives the impressions through these five se activity of the five senses and these impressions are imprinted upon the mind and the mind starts reacting towards this and so the behavior of the person will be in accordance to this behavior of the mind. So our transaction in our daily life is only in the form of a reaction but not true action. <laughs> that is what Patanjali explained in his Yes. <laughs> this is the higher self. This is the higher self, yes. <laughs> Diseases are an effect of the basic centralization of a man's life energy from the plane whereon those energies are focused proceed those determining conditions which produce ill health 
and which therefore work out as disease, uh, work out as disease, as, work out as disease, yeah, work out as disease, or as freedom from the, from disease. So this is, so mind is, the mind is most important because it is, it can either free, it can make, give a freedom from the disease or it will bring you into the disease. This depends upon how the mind is trained, in which direction. So that training is what, what is called yoga in its true sense. <laughs> that is what we have to know from the from the study of Yoga of Patanjali. Yeah. Yes. Animal nature. Higher intelligence. From the higher, yes. Instinct, instinct is lower. Yeah. The reflexes, instincts and emotions are on the lower plane. The animal nature. And this is to be submitted to the higher nature. That is what is explained. So that process also is explained in, in terms of healing also. In terms of energies, inflow of energy. So now we have <laughs> exactly. The break time.